Hey creators, C Bullock here, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use motion tracking in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. This feature isn't available in the 2020 version of the program, and you can't use it yet on overlays like video or images you import yourself. This can be used on the stickers available in the program, the titles or text in the program, and then you can use it with the highlight and conceal portion of the program. Anything you import that goes on this second overlay track here can't be used for motion tracking yet. To import any files or video, you're going to go to File Import up here on the first tab, Add Files, then just click the video or image you want, Open, and it will import the file. From here, I'm going to drag that down to the track. And to use the motion tracking, you're going to add whatever you want to track. So let's say we want to track a sticker. So we'll put this smiley face here. And you'll notice when you're in the clip properties that there's a new motion tab. You're going to want to double click the sticker or text. And then if it's still not showing up, you can click this clip properties button right here. That will bring it to this screen. Then we're going to click the motion tab. And from here, you're going to select what you want it to track. So we're going to track the front of the train here. So I'm actually going to pick a portion where that's a little bigger. And then make our screen a little bigger so I can see better. And we're going to grab this and put it right on the front of the train. I'm going to try to make it as small as possible on that point. And then we're going to click track. I'm using the quick tracking for this, and we'll see how well that works. Then if that doesn't work, I'll go to the precise tracking, which takes longer to process, but is more accurate. So then we're going to stick the smiley face where we want it. So if I put it right on top of that, then it will track with it, like this. And I didn't track it long enough, so you can't really see the movement. So we're going to go ahead and make it longer so that it will track until the train goes out of the screen there. Like this. And it's going to track to the front of the train. We'll see how it does. And, oh, it's kind of losing it. Yep, yep, there we go. So it kind of got it. So now you can use this for different things. Some things work better than others. So you can have it track right on top of the item. You can have it track below it. So like for this rubber duck here, if I add, let's say I wanted to make a title for this with the rubber duck in the opening, and I want the title to track to it. We'll put our text here, ducky, like that. And then we're going to double click it until we get to this here or we can click here again if we need to motion and then we're going to track to the duck and track then from here the that should track right on top of it or in front of it so depending on where you have it placed when you do the tracking so if i want it to track right on top of the duck then i'll just move it on top of the duck like this and then it'll track right on top of it. Or if I want it to go, let's say I want it to just go under it, then I can do that. Now I've tried to add some animation. Like for this, I tried to make this bigger with animation so that it would grow bigger with the train. But it, it really didn't want to work well with that at all. So I'm going to play with that a little bit more we'll see what we can do as far as making motion tracking work well with with the animation but so far i haven't had any luck because you have funky things like this that happen let's see oh it worked better that time it actually looked a lot better than the last time i tried it let's try it again so see i'm wanting to make it bigger as the train gets bigger like this oh, where did it go oh it's gone let's go back here a bit okay see there we go and then see now you see it goes all funky and i'm not really sure why so let's check here yeah see that's still in the same spot and then it goes all sideways 
So I, I'm going to play around a little bit more with animation and the tracking and see what I can figure out. But for now, we can use the tracking like this. So it's always available in this tab here. If you want to highlight something, so let's say I want to highlight this duck or blur it out, and I'm going to go to highlight and conceal down in these four squares. And you can now use motion tracking with things like this clear ellipse, which blurs everything and can even like darken. Yeah, see, so it's like really blurring the outside there. Uh, let's do this one now. That bright ellipse. There we go. So you can really see it because you can't see it as much on that water with the blur. And then I can add motion tracking. And this one, you don't have to use the marker. It just automatically tracks this ellipse or whatever highlight or blur you're going to use. Oops. If you mess it up, you can just reset it, track it again. We'll do it again. So now that highlight will follow the duck too, like so. Like so you could use it to highlight your mouse's movement or highlight uh, something happening in a game video or to blur faces and track faces. And that's been really useful. If you're having problems with it, jumping to something else after the cut. So let's say if I track this here and then after the train goes out, the face is going to be like kind of confused there. So you can cut the sticker to that point, or you can cut the clip before you do the tracking at the point where the train goes out of the screen or where someone walks out of the screen. And I would just cut my clip there and then do the tracking just on this portion of the clip where it starts and stops. That's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Movavi video editor tutorials. Drop it in the comments if you have any requests for video tutorials, and we'll see you in the next video.